Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to talk about using an external MIDI synth in Reason. So basically what we've got set up here is my Behringer Model D, which is an analog synthesizer. And what I want to do is control it from Reason through MIDI send by outputting MIDI data into my analog synthesizer. And then what I'm gonna do is send audio out of my analog synthesizer into my audio interface and record it in Reason. And it actually all works surprisingly smoothly. So if you've got an analog synth or a digital synth or any sort of synth and you wanna control it from within Reason so that you can use your sequencer, get all the timings lined up, all of that, watch this video and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new instrument, and we're going to go to the built-in devices, and go all the way down to the external MIDI instrument. Now, by default, it's selecting my MIDI controller keyboard, which doesn't actually generate any sounds. So instead, we need to go down to where it says Model D, which is the model of my analog synth. Um, and by the way, if you wanna see a review of that or hear some more demos of it, Click on a link down below. It's an awesome synth for under $300. Sounds great. So now when I hit my MIDI keyboard, we're making noise. But the problem is that noise isn't really being recorded. I've got, um, let's talk about the routing real quick. So for what, what we've done for the routing is I've got a USB cable going from my laptop into my synthesizer's USB input. And in order to make this work, I needed to get a, um, basically a USB hub. They're like five or $6 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It just is really helpful because at some point you have too many cables. So once I've got my USB hub, um, I'm running the USB data directly into my analog synth. And then I've got a quarter inch cable, guitar cable going from the output of my synthesizer into my audio interface. And so it's not any more complicated than that if you're just trying to record one synthesizer. You control it with a USB cable, which is gonna be smart and it's gonna know what to do. You're not controlling it from your MIDI controller, right? I've got my MIDI keyboard down here and there's no wires between my MIDI keyboard and my analog synth. My MIDI keyboard is connected to my computer by USB and my analog synth is also connected to my computer with a USB cable. And they're communicating via my computer and via Reason, specifically this external MIDI instrument. Finally though, um, to capture the output sound, the audio signal from my um, external MIDI analog synth, I have an audio cable going back into my DAW. So let's, let's just draw in a really simple uh, let's just do this. We don't even need to draw in that. Well, maybe we do. I guess we do need to draw in the MIDI data. Um, so let's just put like a very simple, simple pattern here. Doesn't that sound good? And I'm Oh yeah, analog synthesis. Um, but now, well anyway, it's really easy to get distracted with an analog synth and start playing with it. And I apologize. Um, <laughs> that's not what you came here for. You wanted to know how to use it. So uh, what I now need to do though to capture the audio data, the audio signal is to create an audio track here. and. So this is almost like now I'm like recording a guitar, basically, or any, or vocals. So you have to select the input, and right now it says no audio input because unfortunately um, my sound card is being hijacked to record this video. But normally what you would see is your inputs here, your normal inputs for your um, 
audio interface and you would select one of them and then when you hit record you would be playing the signal back from your MIDI or from your audio device into your audio interface and you would record it here as audio and so that's how you can be using a MIDI synth with reason um, a couple of caveats to note if you're using a digital synth you can probably control a lot of the parameters of your analog synth via MIDI. So if you want to change the filter automation for a digital synth using MIDI, it's often possible to do, especially if you use this CC assign knob here. You would like select the parameter if your keyboard actually supported it, and you turn it on, and then this controller would modify that. But on an analog synth, they usually even if they can be sequenced with MIDI, they can't really control the deeper level of features via MIDI. You have to do that manually by hand, which is why it's usually a good idea to record the MIDI notes first into your sequencer, then hit record and actually like perform a take twiddling all the knobs. I really hope this video was useful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more cool reason and music production tips. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.